Hi everyone, this is AB with Proxidize again. Today I'll take you through a full walkthrough of all the Proxidize features. Uh, I just finished installation and uh, once I did that, I was prompted with this login screen which would take me to my dashboard to manage my dongles or proxies. Uh, the login is, or the default login is always admin, admin, I hit enter. It takes me to our home screen. Here, let's zoom out a little. I can see all of my modems in every row. So this is modem 1, modem 2, modem 3, all the way up to modem 10. Uh, let's get started from the top. So we're in the home screen. Here it's telling me that the admin is logged in. Uh, here it tells me when it's going to refresh all the information displayed below, such as the IP and all of that stuff that we're going to talk about in a minute. Uh, in this table, we can see all of our modems, starting from the index. Uh, every modem has a specific index which we, which we use to control it specifically for uh, the API and it will always be tied to a specific port. Uh, the model is the model that we have and here we have the Huawei E3372. The IMEI is the modem IMEI and uh, by the way this number is very important because we use it to correlate every physical device with a modem index. So for example we know that the device that has the IMEI which ends in 0467 is the modem index 1 so this is important uh, here we have the public IP or the, uh, the, the IP that the websites will see when I connect to them through the proxy and this is the IP that changes when I want to change the IP of the proxy uh, here it's showing me my uh, my proxies I have the um, ha I have the enterprise license installed here so I have an HTTP and a SOX proxy uh, here it's showing me the amount of data I've consumed uh, how much download and upload in megabytes uh, here it's showing me the mode, uh, which for me right now is WCDMA because I have terrible signal, but usually this would be LTE or 4G for you. Uh, the status, the, the proxy is live and it's working, so the status is up. Otherwise, the status would be down or unknown. Uh, last update or when was the last change, or for example, when did the IP last change, or when did I last, uh, or when did I first plug in the modem or anything of that sort? It'll come here. Uh, the rotation, rotation interval is. Uh, how often do I want the IP to automatically change? For example, uh, right now it's set to change every five hours, but I'll change it. Uh, I'll change it in a minute. Uh, okay. So the feature is change IP. We just press this, and uh, it will change the IP. It takes about 30 seconds, and uh, just changes this public IP. The way it does, it sends a command to the modem. Uh, depending on the modem type, it does different things, but most of the time it will just reboot the modem programmatically. Uh, the SMS option gives us the option to send or receive SMS numbers, or I'm sorry, SMS messages. So uh, if we add any random number here, we'd be able to then add the message and uh, click send, and this would send an SMS message. Uh, to view the SMS, the SMS messages that I've received previously on this number, all we have to do is click receive SMS, and here it shows me all the SMS messages that I've received before. Super simple. Uh, uh, for the other, uh, this is where I have the option to change this rotation interval that we spoke about in a minute. So, uh, days, hours, or minutes. Let's say I want to change every five minutes. I just change this to five minutes and hit save. But right now I want to stay maybe one hour, I think. Um, maybe, no, let's say eight hours. That's like the most appropriate possible rate or the most natural rate for IP change. Unless if you're using the proxies for web scraping or something like that. And I hit save. Change is saved. Okay, and uh, this is pretty much our home screen. Uh, we, if you're having any issues, you can press here. You can come join our Discord server and ask anything you want, or you can just click uh, refresh Proxidize, uh, and it will refresh the whole system. Proxidize is extremely stable, and you can expect to get up to 99% uptime. But as you can imagine, it's an also an extremely large and complicated system, so there's a very, very, very small chance that. Uh, issues could happen and if that ha does happen you could just come here and click refresh proxidize and you'd be done uh, I have like I said I have 10 modems so I have 10 rows and this is pretty much all of the home screen uh, it's showing us our CPU usage how much C CPU the, the the proxidize box I'm using right now is using it's showing me the modem count which I have 10 it's showing me I'm using 81% of my RAM it's showing me my license which I have a, a proxidize enterprise license installed on this device so let's go to settings now uh, the settings is also extremely simple. 
uh, it'll show me what current authentication I have. I currently have an IP authentication, which meaning only I, only addresses or only devices that have this IP can connect to my proxies, and they won't need to use a username and, or password. And uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, we'll come to those in a minute. If I want to change the authentication, for example, I want to change the username to say uh, uh, proxidize and the password to also say proxidize. I can hit, I can, I can change it and press save and it's changed the username type username password authentication username proxidize password also proxidize and uh, this is for the authentication uh, if I want to change the rotation interval for all the modems at the same time I can do that here so remember how just a minute ago we changed the rotation interval to eight hours for one of the modems let's say I want all the modems to change every eight hours not only one I'll come here and I'll press save changes and it's pretty much done if we come here we see all of them now change every eight hours. Uh, by the way, it will start counting at the very moment you press save. So if I change, uh, uh, since I, I, I said uh, change it every eight hours right now, eight hours from now, it's going to change the IP. Here we have our HTTP proxy list. In case you just want to copy these and put them in your body, just press copy and go to your body, press paste. Same thing for the SOX proxy list. Uh, if I want to change this port, this particular port, for any number of reasons, I could just come here and insert, let's say I want to, I want to start from 6,000. By the way, uh, this is right now the port start value is 5,000. So it starts from 5,001 all the way up to 5,010. If I write 6,000 here, it'll start from 6,001 all the way to 6,010. If I write 6,000 here, the SOX proxy list will start from 7,000. From 7,000 all the way down to 7,010. It will start from 7,001 because the, the number you put here will always start one more. Uh, just to keep things tidy. Uh, if you're a developer, you need an API, you would require a token. You can come here and copy the token and use it whenever you want to connect to the Whenever you want to use the API, it must be inserted into the header. If you want to regenerate the token, you'd come here and generate a completely new token. Uh, if we notified you about an update, you can press here. You could come here and click Update Proxidize, and it will update Proxidize to the latest version automatically. Uh, usually, an update takes about five minutes, depending on how fast your uh, speed or internet connection is. Uh, and if you remember the, the the login screen that we first encountered when we first opened the dashboard. Uh, where the default username and password was proxidize, proxidize, or I'm sorry, it was uh, admin, admin. Well, here I have the option to change the password to anything I want. Uh, super simple, everything is super clean. We've worked so hard to ensure that uh, the dashboard and the entire process is as intuitive and simple as possible. Uh, now let's hop into the cool stuff. And here we come to the shared proxy section. Uh, shared proxies are basically just proxies that use the same default connection. They're just any proxy that's not the default proxy that we see here. These are the default proxies, meaning uh, if you connect to this proxy and you don't create any other proxies, you know that the this only, only this proxy is going through that particular modem. Uh, but when you create shared proxies, you can have multiple proxies going through the same modem uh, where they become uh, commonly known as shared proxies. Uh, these are great for when you want to sell your proxies, for example, you can create a shared proxy and give it to everyone who, who's buying from you. Or if you want to give a proxy temporarily to a friend and you don't want them to access your entire, your, all your, your proxies, uh, this is where you would do it. So let's create a test. Let's say we want to use username um, test, password also test, index, let's say index 3, port, let's use port 2007. Uh, if I, for example, don't want the person to abuse my proxies, I can limit their bandwidth or speed connection to, let's say I want to limit it to one megabit per second, which is not fast, but it's also okay for any for most proxy users. But this will not work for web scraping or something like that that requires high bandwidth. Comments, for example, I can say uh, uh, this is proxy order one, two, three, four, whatever. And I hit save changes. And I will have my newly created proxy right here. This is the proxy. This is the modem index. This is the proxy type HTTP. The authentication is user. This is the credentials I use. This is the creation date. The speed is one megabit per second. And this is the comment I added. Once I'm done with it, or let's say the order expired, or I just don't want to sell the proxy, or I don't want my friend to have access to the proxy anymore, I just come here and I click delete. And we're done. This is it. 
by the way, this index thing is the same thing that we talked about on the home page table. For example, if I say index one, it means the proxy will go through the connection to this modem. This is what index one means. And uh, this is pretty much it for the main features. We also have the API documentation for all of the developers out there. The API is complete. You can use it to create shared proxies, delete proxies, rotate, get SMS, send SMS, or absolutely anything you need. Get information about all your proxies, and uh, it's, just, it's, it's a complete API if you want to build your own selling system or if you just want to build a little system for you and your friends to use. It's all here, and it's very, very simple to use. Uh, regarding upcoming features, we have tons of upcoming features coming soon. Uh, the main one would probably be the ability to limit which websites the shared proxy would have access to. We'd add it right here. Or to ban particular websites. For example, if you want to sell shared proxies, but you want to limit them to, for example, specific websites. So you could share, uh, sell the same uh, proxy connection to the modem multiple times, if that makes sense. Let's say you have one modem. Uh, from the same modem, for example, you'd be able to sell like 10 proxy, like one for SEO, one for Instagram, uh, one for sneaker websites, etc. So this, we believe this will be a, a great feature. Um, and uh, this is pretty much it. We have, uh, we have the full upcoming features list in our Discord. So make sure you ha absolutely have to join our Discord server if you have not done so already. And uh, make sure to like this video. Make sure to leave us a comment of any other features you want to see. And uh, this is it. I'll see you next time.